In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant me pray, Almighty God, that the Holy Spirit coming near and dwelling graciously within us may make us a perfect temple of his glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Miletus, Paul had the presbyters of the church at Ephesus summoned. When they came to him, he addressed them. You know how I lived among you the whole time from the day I first came to the province of Asia. I served the Lord with all humility, and with the tears and trials that came to me because of the plots of the Jews, and I did not all at all shrink from telling you what was for your benefit, or from teaching you in public or in your homes. I earnestly bore witness for both Jews and Greeks to repentance before God and to faith in our Lord Jesus. But now, compelled by the Spirit, I am going to Jerusalem. What will happen to me there, I do not know, except that in one city after another, the Holy Spirit has been warning me that imprisonment and hardships await me. Yet I consider life of no importance to me. If only I may finish my course and the ministry that I receive from the Lord Jesus to bear witness to the gospel of God's grace. But now I know that none of you to whom I preached the kingdom during my travels will ever see my face again. And so I solemnly declare to you this day that I'm not responsible for the blood of any of you, for I did not shrink from proclaiming to you the entire plan of God. The word of the Lord. Amen. The responsorial psalm, sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. A bountiful rain you showered down, O God, upon your inheritance. You restored the land when it languished. Your flock settled in it. In your goodness, O God, you provided it for the needy. Sing, Sing to God, God, O kingdoms of the earth. Blessed day by day be the Lord who bears our burdens. God who is our salvation. God is a saving God for us. The Lord, my Lord, controls the passageways of death. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come to give glory to your Son, so that your Son may glorify you, just as you gave him authority over all people, so that your Son may give eternal life to all you gave him. Now this is eternal life that you should know the one true God and the one whom you sent, Jesus Christ. I glorified you on earth by accomplishing the work that you gave me to do. Now glorify me, Father, with you, that the glory that I had with you before the world began, I revealed your name to those whom you gave me out of the world. They belong to you, and you gave them to me, and that, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything that you gave me is from you, because of the words you gave to me I have given to them. And they accepted them and truly understood that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, 
for the ones you have given me, because they are yours, and everything of mine is yours, and everything of yours is mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I will no longer be in the world, but they are in the world, while I am coming to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. St. Luke, in the Acts of the Apostles, which we heard today, is chapter 20, records one of the longer speeches of St. Paul in the Acts of the Apostles. He is speaking to the leaders of the church of Ephesus. And today we get the introduction, tomorrow the meat. So, by way of the introduction, I, I ask you a question. If God gives us virtue, whenever we ask, he gives us virtue, or he gives us, let me put it like that, he gives us the means to attain a deeper sense of virtue. Can you ever go deep enough when it comes to God and grace? No, you, you can't. I mean, if God presents you the ability to, to love, could you ever not love enough or love too much? So when Paul speaks, he's saying that even though, and you heard him, I don't know what the Holy Spirit has in store with me. I, through inspiration, through my prayer, believe it's going to be hardship and imprisonment. But I don't know. But what I do know is God has blessed me for so many years. He has brought me back to the faith of which I once persecuted. He has supported me in those times of hardships, those times when I was starving, those times when I was shipwrecked, those times when I have been beaten with rods and staffs. All these times, even when I was stoned and thought dead, God has always been with me. In my faith, I know God will be with me when I journey to Jerusalem. That is the introduction that St. Paul is giving to us, and it's a very valuable lesson to all of us. For if we, as Christians, read sacred scripture, both the Old and the New Testament, and yes, I know there are many a person who have gone through life as Christians, who have called upon the name of the Lord, and we don't read about how God miraculously did X, Y, and Z. But there are instances where God continues to show his bountiful love and mercy, and that affirms the faith that we hold. I don't know if you're aware of it, but it just came out this weekend. There was a Founders of a Benedictine order. Uh, I think it's in Missouri. They exhumed her body after four, four and a half years to move her into the chapel. And uh, it appears, the church hasn't officially said anything because just recently, it appears that this uh, woman is incorrupt. After four years, decay has not touched her body. And if it is proven accurate after the studies, then she will be the first African-American woman ever. And maybe one of the first United States saints ever to be incorrupt. If that is true, wow. That shows that God, even in our time, is still looking out for us. Now, mighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, we offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who are sick and suffering in any way this day, and those who care for them. We pray to the Lord. We pray for Robert and Janet Ropet, for whom this Mass is being offered this day. We pray to the Lord. Oh, yeah, pray. We pray for the needs of those who will watch this Mass on video and for
the needs of you here present in our church today, we pray to the Lord. Lord Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with the prayer of praise and honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you through the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you for the divine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept the Lord the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We are the of the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples, and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome apostles through every land, every people, and salt in your praise. And even men in the cars with the angelic hosts sing together the anemic hymn of your glory, as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes to the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all believers. Make holy the for these gifts and prayers, but sing down to the spirit of the might of your soul, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he took willingly into his passion. He took bread and I'm giving thanks for it, and gave it to his disciples, said, Take this, all of you, I am eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the child's. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for me for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <coughs> The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the day of the Lord until the day of God's glory. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humble we pray, God, for taking God the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed of Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may pray to glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, my be Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. As the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and that we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord and with you always. And with your spirit. So let us all reach up the side of peace. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, and only imploring the Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of Him may bring us growth and charity. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Lord, Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, O God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the prayer of the Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be your holy and manhood conception. Blessed be your glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, the virgin and mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. And blessed be God, and the angel, and the saints.